Looking back at the time circa 2020, I'm excited to share some clips I found while bored browsing through a folder on my laptop called Please Edit. These clips include moments from our move to a new home during the pandemic. It's funny how I've forgotten many of these experiences, so as I look back on them, I hope to share a glimpse into our journey and the emotions we felt during that time. As you can see, this bakola right here is attempting to tape up her box. Sorry for the bad taping skills though. I was rushing because we only had a few days to move. I'm writing down what's inside this box so I don't get too overwhelmed when it's time to unpack. Trust me, the chaos is real when you're trying to remember what goes where. So I took this lifting, transferring, repositioning class back in university and honestly, I don't think I'm applying anything I learned here. I'm supposed to keep my body straight while lifting not bending like a letter C just to grab the base of the box. No wonder I always end up with back pain. What time is it? Um, it's 4, 12 a.m. And this is our last few hours here in this house. Last few hours here in this room. Oh my gosh, it's pouring rain. This has been my view for almost four years now. I am definitely gonna miss this, this place. Oh my gosh, here I am again. <sighs> I was just crying yesterday or it was two days ago. My mom caught me crying. She told me it's okay to cry. It's okay to mourn about what happened. Acceptance, not toxic positivity. I decided to cut out some of the personal stuff from the last clip along with these morning clips because they were super shaky. Honestly, I wish I just used my phone for the empty house tour instead. I was still trying to figure out how my mirrorless camera worked. We had to move Kuya Aldin's car backwards so we could load some stuff into Kuya Alex's car. Ah, I'm gonna miss this house. I don't know how many times I've said that in this video. Goodbye, neighbor. Goodbye, neighbors. Life, can't you see? Bring it back. Bring it back. Don't take it away from me. You don't. We had to drive back and forth between the old and the new house several times because we just had so much stuff. Sick. This is our new home. More yapping, yapping session with mom. Tissue paper. I think you have to put it here. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Will it close? Yeah, Try it. Man, these clips are so shaky. Time to unpack these boxes. I'm just adding a few more clips to add to this moving vlog. I just want to add some moments with friends outside the moving process. Hi guys, we right? reached the summit. You're showing the top. <laughs> hey guys, we just reached the summit. Oh my god, East End of Brando. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Fake news. Guys, fake news. During the East End hike, I wasn't able to record much since I was in survival mode the whole time. We only made it through about 80% of the hike. Maybe two or three people managed to reach the very top, but it was way too intense for most of us. And this one is from another hike we did with my mom's friends. And that's a wrap. Those were my attempts at vlogging during 2020, even if they didn't go as planned. But that's okay. I managed to create a narration vlog before the end of 2024. 
Thank you for joining me in this reflection on the moving process and the moments of joy alongside the inner struggles we all face. Whatever challenges you're dealing with, remember to embrace them, feel them, and lean on your support system. See you in the next video. Bye!